Hello, Eugene X2000 here again. We're going to be continuing our genome tour, and today we're going to be looking at the Y chromosome. Uh, we're going to start with the human genome, Homo sapiens, go to the karyotype, and click on the Y chromosome. Jump to location view, and here we are. I'm going to change this region in detail by dragging the um, mouse across the chromosome on top and jump to the region at the beginning or top or upstream, most upstream portion of the Y chromosome in human. Now we're going to go to Synteny and here we have a Synteny map which should be um, mouse uh, from human to mouse we're going to change that to chimpanzee and go. So here we have on the left we have the chimpanzee Y chromosome right here. In the center we have the human Y chromosome and then any other chromosomes in the chimpanzee genome that the human Y chromosome um, links to so we're gonna have um, we're gonna have some homologous genes here on chimpanzee chromosome 1 and also on chimpanzee X chromosome so we're gonna start at the top um, we're gonna navigate homology all the way through uh, we're gonna notice and you're, you're gonna notice there's quite a, quite a few genes which show no homologs between human and chimpanzee. Um, so for those who suggest that evolution, for example, um, um, homolog uh, homology shows that um, humans and chimpanzees have a common ancestor, you're going to see a bit of a problem with the um, with that particular idea. When you, when you begin to see the number of genes that do not have a homolog um, between human and chimp. And then if we have time, we're going to flip it around and look from the chimp's point of view and draw the homology from chimp to human. So starting now with um, human on the left and chimpanzee on the right, here we have six genes showing no homologies. We're also going to be looking at gene order. As opposed to gene sequence, gene order is the order in which the genes appear on the chromosome um, in order from top to bottom or from upstream to downstream. Now, as you begin to look, you'll we've already looked at the first six showing no homologs and also you'll notice the SLC25A6 gene has um, a homolog in chimpanzee, but it's on chromosome 9. And um, here's one which is um, not designated to a chromosome. We've got a couple, one, two, three, four that are on the chimpanzee X chromosome and go downstream 15 genes. Also as you look the um, gene order in human as compared to chimp um, is quite a bit of a rearrangement, a massive re rearrangement so that you have regions that are not only in different locations but are inverted. For example this region here connected by a red line shows the sequences are inverted and um, okay back down here along with the original six showing no homologs here's another seven um, eight and also you'll notice uh, as, as I mentioned before reflected in the in, in the um, locations <clears throat> is going to show how it jumps around. 
and we're going to go downstream 15 more and now um, we show more on the Y chromosome except for this one which is um, on chromosome 10 here's one on chromosome 4 and we're going to go downstream again 15 more genes so here's two more bringing it up to 10 genes with no homologs and you'll also notice some of these genes have um, more than one human gene CDY2A is showing um, five genes in chimpanzee on the Y chromosome. Um, here's another uh, with no homologs. So what's that now? 11, 12. And look at the um, sequence. Uh, okay, downstream another 15 genes. And here's a gene that's actually the human RBMY1B uh, showing homologs on chimpanzee Y chromosome but it seems to be split up quite a bit here um, and, and separated into several different genes and again the same thing with RBMY1A1 and we'll just scan down and um, you're going to see a lot of uh, segmentation here of the genes between the two species so we're going to go downstream the last 11 uh, because on the uh, human Y chromosome actually this last stretch Q12 on the long arm of uh, the human Y chromosome shows no protein coding um, genes and for the last um, 11 genes as comparing human to chimp here's uh, one more the SPRY3 gene showing no homolog and um, AJ27 also showing no homolog. So we have quite a few here and um, so the, I guess the idea is anyone suggesting that homology shows common descent um, has a little bit of a problem and um, we also have and here's the last gene um, WASH 6P in human um, maps to chimpanzee chromosome 15. There's quite a few here uh, mapping to the chimpanzee X chromosome but um, I'm not really concerned about those right right yet. Um, and one other thing really quick because what I'd like to do is take a quick look at the uh, palindromes for the Y chromosome because it's um we'll just take a, a brief look um, here's an article in uh, Wikipedia um, and there's a couple other articles that I was looking at earlier um, gene conversion pal in palindromic regions um, where it's showing um, actually there's eight palindromes some palindromes within other palindromes in the human Y chromosome and there's quite a few genes in the um, regions so we have the largest one P1 which is three million base pairs long now if you know anything about palindromes there's um, that, that's that's a pretty good um, that's a pretty good size palindrome so um, if you look that up see what's what level of intelligence what sort of design would be required
for a palindrome of that size, then you may begin to see why I'm a creationist. And that's going to be all for today. Um, you're welcome to look around anytime. It's here online. And uh, see for yourself. See you next time.